Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In our last session, we discussed what is correlation and correlation coefficient. You can find a link to that video in our description. In this session, we will continue the discussion and look into different types of correlation. So let's discuss the agenda for today's session. We'll start the tutorial by understanding what is correlation. Then we'll move to discuss types of correlation and discuss each of them one by one. After that, we'll learn the two major methods to calculate correlation coefficient. That is Pearson's correlation and Spearsman rank correlation. So let's get started. What is correlation? Correlation refers to a statistical relationship between the two entities. It measures the extent to which two variables are linearly related. For example, the increase in the height of the children is accompanied often by the increase in weight. The value of the correlation always lies between minus 1 to plus 1. There are mainly three categories of correlation. The first one is positive correlation and negative correlation. The second one is linear and nonlinear correlation. And the third one is simple multiple and partial correlation. Let's discuss each of them one by one. Positive correlation. A positive correlation means that the linear relationship is positive and the two variables increases or decreases in the same direction, as you can see from the graph. For example, the calories you burn is directly proportional to the amount of time you run on a treadmill. On the other hand, a negative correlation is just the opposite. The relationship line has a negative slope and the variable changes in the opposite direction. That is, one variable decreases while the other increases. An example can be a student who has many absents has a decrease in grades. Now let's move on to discuss linear and nonlinear correlation. When we change the value of a variable which leads to a constant ratio change in other variable, then that relation is said to be linear. For example, the factory doubles its output by doubling the number of workers. On the other hand, a correlation is said to be nonlinear when the amount of change in one variable is not in constant ratio to the change in the other variable. For example, the change in radius of the sphere and the change in volume of the same sphere does not happen to be in the same ratio. Now let's discuss simple, multiple and partial correlation. When studying the relationship between the variables, when only two variables are involved, the correlation is said to be simple. In the multiple correlation, we measure the degree of association between one variable on the one side and all the variables together on the other side. And for the partial correlation, we study the relationship of one variable with one of the other variables, presuming that all the variables remain constant. Now that we know all the types of correlation, let's discuss the two major types to calculate the correlation coefficient. The first one is Pearson's correlation. Pearson's correlation coefficient is a test statistics that measures the statistical relationship between the two continuous variables. The Pearson's correlation coefficient is often denoted by R and the formula to calculate the Pearson's relation coefficient is sigma xi minus x bar into y i minus y bar divided by under root sigma xi minus x bar whole square and y i minus y bar whole square. When R is the coefficient of correlation, x bar is the mean of x variable and y bar is the mean of y variable and xi and yy denotes the samples of variable x and y respectively. The Pearson's correlation coefficient is the best method to measure the association between two variables of interest because it gives information about the magnitude of the association or correlation as well as the direction of the relationship between the two variables. The second best method is Pearson rank correlation. The Spearsman rank correlation is used to discover the strength of a link between the two sets of data. The formula to calculate the Spearsman rank correlation coefficient is rho is equal to 1 minus 6 sigma di whole square divided by n bracket n square minus 1, where rho is the Spearsman rank correlation coefficient, di is the difference between the two ranks of each observation, and n is the number of observations. So, with this, we have come to an end to this tutorial. Thank you all for watching this session. We hope you enjoyed it.
If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comment section of this video. Thank you again and happy learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.